For WLCSports.com, I'm Matt Friedman. This is our men's basketball season preview, joined by 22nd year head coach Skip Noon. And uh, coach, you have a much different team this year than you had a season ago. 12 newcomers. Uh, first of all, let's talk about some of the returning players. You have one returning starter, that's junior Brett Luby. You also have one senior in Taylor Kladek. You have uh, Kyle Stells entering the starting lineup. What are some of the strengths of your returning players, and have you seen them kind of take some leadership of those younger players? Well, especially those three guys have done an outstanding job. Uh, this has been a, a great preseason. Um, and that's all we can judge it by right now. Uh, but everything we've asked them to do, they've done it and, uh, and done more. You know, as a player, Brett, we're excited to have him back as uh, probably a little more focal point in what we do. I think at the start of last season, uh, you know, he kind of took a little bit of a backseat uh, to some of the seniors. And by the end of the year, he really had some great games. And, you know, what we see right now is, is he's really worked hard in the offseason. I think he's become more of a scoring threat, improved himself physically. Uh, it reminds me that he lost a little bit of weight and he's become lighter on his feet, so I think that will help him. Uh, but yet he's really worked on strength gains, so we feel good about that. Kyle Stells, while he didn't start any games last year, uh, you know, when, when I sat down and talked with Kyle earlier this week, I said, well, are you nervous for your first college game? And, you know, he gave me the, you know, uh, not really because I played so much and, and you, you know, you always told me that you were really you know, one of our starters, even though you didn't start any games. So, you know, Kyle played significantly for us last year and really has had an off season that uh, is really strong. We're looking forward to watching him. And then Taylor Kladek has kind of bided his time and, and quietly, and Taylor is, is a little more of a quiet guy, uh, but just is really a solid rock. Uh, has had a great summer and preseason as well. Um, as we know, he's a great shooter, and uh, you know what we have to do is make sure we get enough shots and enough looks for him. Coach, your starting lineup is also going to feature two sophomore transfers in Jake Jarnago and also Jim Morose. Uh, two guys who, like I said, sophomore transfers, and Jim Morose is a guy at six foot seven who gives you a big inside presence. So tell us a little bit about those two. Yeah, well, we're we're happy to finally have both those guys in the fold. Uh, we recruited them hard coming out of high school and, and uh, uh, now we finally get a shot at them and they're both really talented. Uh, we think they make our team uh, you know, solid. Uh, Jim with his size and uh, he has a little bit of experience. He played junior college ball last year. Uh, brings in uh, some athleticism in addition to size. Uh, he's maybe one of our most vocal guys in the team and so um, he's been a positive vocal uh, presence and I think he's going to be a, a leader and, and really look forward to, to seeing him play. Um, and Jake Jarnago as a point guard, um, you know, it, it's going to be interesting to watch him uh, come out and play and uh, he's had a great preseason. Um, he's a little bit of a scoring threat and, uh, you know, he's flying around. I hope he can make through the season because he's, he certainly is a great high effort guy, uh, but we're happy to have both those guys. And like we talked about earlier, 12 newcomers on this team. Uh, so obviously not all of them will get a lot of playing time, but they're all competing in practice to try to get on the floor. Who will we see among those newcomers with significant minutes? Who's impressed you so far? Uh, you know, it is early. Um, I think we are really happy with the newcomers as a group. Um, you know, I, I think uh, one of the other transfers that will seek significant time is Aaron Pettit. Uh, so he, he really is a third transfer that's going to get a lot of playing time. You know, I feel great about all of our, our freshmen, uh, especially uh, you know, the newcomers of uh, DJ Escamala, who is from uh, Arrowhead. He's done a great job at the point. Um, we also have a, a pair of uh, really good players that we feel good about in Christian Walls and uh, Tyler Dominowski. Uh, those guys are both from West. Uh, they've you know, they, they both offer different things, but just are really good basketball players, and we're excited. You know, at some point this year, I'm sure that they'll be part of our rotation and what we do. Uh, right now, it's always a little, a little hard to figure out, well, is it better for them to get some heavier minutes on the varsity reserve games or, uh, uh, you know, see a few minutes here or there in, in uh, varsity play. We certainly uh, will, will ask for them to, to contribute. Another, uh, another freshman that has really opened our eyes up is Ruben. Uh, 
and, and Ruben Ortiz is, is maybe as good an offensive player coming in as we've seen. And uh, he just seems like he doesn't miss. Every time he shoots the ball, you're going, well, it's going to go in. And when it doesn't, it's a surprise. Um, really done a nice job and been able to play multiple positions for us. Uh, Brandon Hagel has done a nice job for us inside. Uh, Kevin Fredericks um, has done a great job for us as well. He's kind of been banged up a little bit. Um, but uh, and when he gets back and, and healthy again, I, I think that uh, he has a chance to be really good. Well, we will look forward to watching those uh, newcomers on the court for the Warriors. And now let's kind of move on to the practice because that's what uh, you guys have been doing a lot of here lately. We were there at the first practice of the preseason when you preached to this team that they have the opportunity to be a great defensive team. That's really what you were stressing. What strides have you seen on the defensive end? What have you been working on there? Well, you know, the facts can't be ignored. We are really young, and there's a lot of inexperience. You know, um, we, have, we have a gr good group of returning guys that now this year are going to be playing bigger roles. Uh, Jacob Thorne um, playing the point guard, two guard. Uh, um, Nate Seamers playing four and five. Uh, Randy Strutz. And, and really those three guys are big reasons why we think we're going to be better defensively or improve defensively because all three of those guys are really athletic and just make it tough. Um, I think that our defense and our defensive tone will be set over time. It may not be, you know, a, a work that is beautiful at the beginning, but we think that by uh, the end of the year we'll be really tough defensively, and and we think that's going to be the thing that we'll be able to hang our ha hang our hat on. And outside of just defense, what are some of the strong points that you're seeing with this team so far? Well, I think we're going to have good balance of inside outside. Um, you know, I think we have three guys that can score inside right away. And, you know, uh, obviously Brett as a returning player, but both Jim and Nate, you know, this summer on uh, some of the things that we did uh, uh, in summer leagues and stuff like that, Nathan Seamers really stepped forward as a scorer. Um, he can step away from the basket a little, little bit and hit jump shots. So we think we have good balance. We've always had good perimeter players, and we think that we'll have that. Um, with multiple guys, so I, I think we're going to have some good balance, and I think we'll be able to run the run the floor. Um, I think we'll have a high energy, fun style of basketball. The Warriors will open their season Friday night at Lawrence, so that is a familiar opponent. Your 20th time facing Lawrence in team history. What are some of the challenges they'll present in that matchup? And as a coach, you've been working so hard to finally get this team on the floor for that first game. What are you looking for? Well, they are the antithesis, if I can say that right, uh, of the Warriors. They are a veteran. Um, you know, they have one of the top players returning uh, in, and in, uh, um, in, uh, I am losing my mind here, but uh, they have a very strong uh, guard set. They, plot, they play more of a four guard offense. We're probably a little bit bigger, want to slug it out uh, with them, so that'll be a challenge. That, that we're more we're bigger than they are. They're smaller, more guard oriented. But we're looking forward to a good game. It'll be a challenge um, because they're well coached and uh, you know going on the road for a young team. But we're really excited for this opportunity. And final question as we look forward to the 2013-2014 season is the NAC has changed. The conference had played division play. Now they're going back to traditional non-division play. So that means you have 20 conference games, four more than you had last year. How does that change your outlook going into the season? Well, it's going to be a, a survival uh, mode. You know, you're going to have games where maybe you're not at full strength and you got to survive. 20 games is a lot of conference games, and everybody knows that every game means something. And so, um, you know, you can't get, you know, you, if you win your first conference game, you can't get so fired up because, hey, you know, you're on top of the conference. You know, maybe about halfway in, uh, then you can start saying, okay, who are the top teams? But I don't think that'll be defined for a while. Uh, you know, you might see a team that is missing a couple of guys for a window uh, slide down, but then if they get healthy, they'll be able to go back up. We're excited. We think we have a great conference. I think the conference is very, very balanced. You know, um, our guys in our team was kind of rated down a little bit because, you know, <laughs> nobody has any idea. Uh, who we have. So I think that's fair. 
Um, but uh, I know that we're excited to, to turn some heads and, and uh, play really competitive basketball. Once again, that's men's basketball coach Skip New. Coach, thanks for joining us and best of luck this season. Thank you and thank you for your efforts and let's go Warriors.